too. And, um, you know, I'm really proud of them. Uh, they're, uh, Mike, I'm sorry. Yeah, they're a tremendous group of athletes, and it's a pleasure to coach them. And you know, they just need to find what was within them, and they played for each other. And it was, it was really beautiful to watch them the last two days. You know, Williams and Emory have been the signature programs of Division Three women's tennis for two decades now. You know, uh, you know they have terrific coaches, terrific programs. You know, we have nothing but respect for them. You know, that's the, that's the goal. Um, we had to beat both of them to do it. You know, we felt like we were getting a little closer every year, just building kind of a vibe and a culture. And, you know, sometimes luck plays a little bit of a role, but you know, I felt like my team went out and grabbed it today and yesterday. And, you know, we're really proud of them. It's yeah. their moment. Yeah. Now, ladies, on the court, you guys have faced both these two teams uh, this year. Tough losses both times. Came back and got the job done this weekend when it actually matters. Uh, what's the thought process going into matches like this into a tough weekend with you know, all the big names in, in women's tennis here and you guys you know, finish the week on top? I mean, we've played Emory and Williams just so many times and they're such amazing programs that we knew that no matter what, it was going to be a tough match. But I think that we knew that the hard work will eventually pay off, especially just, you know, with these group, this, especially this group of girls, they're all so determined and so hardworking that we knew if we just believed in each other and in ourselves that we could get the job done. Yeah, and um, going off of that, the matches that we played the, before this season um, were definitely by no means blowouts. Uh, we knew that on any given day, any of the matches could have gone either way and that um, everyone was really determined today to just give it everything they had. And if that's not good enough, then that's fine. But it turned out to be our day, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talk a little bit about that. You guys faced a really tough schedule all year long. How does that prepare you for really tough matches like this that are going the distance, you're going multiple sets, uh, you have to grind out long points. Uh, what's that prepare you guys for this week? I mean, our, our program really focuses on having really good fitness and just really like, you know, competing when the time gets tough. And so the only way to really do that is to play these hard matches and have a really long schedule because Without that long schedule, you can't get the kind of match preparedness that you need for matches that are huge like this. So, I mean, we had, I think we had everything that we needed to go into this match, and we just fought it out and had left everything we needed, left that we had on the court. Yeah. And Kyla, thinking about maybe doubles play, you guys only fell behind four times all year in yeah. doubles play. <laughs> and, uh, they were to Emory and Williams both times, but this time around, you guys got the better of them in singles. What was the difference for you guys? Um, I think we just really wanted to leave it all out in the court. We'd had a bit of a disappointing day to, yesterday, and we wanted to just come back and make, <laughs> make up for it and um, just not do that again. And we knew it's our last match playing together, um, and we wanted to go out with a good memory. <laughs> I guess that's my last question for the, the two of you, seniors. Uh, what's this mean to cap off your career with the ultimate goal of winning the national championship? Well, Lindsay's still going in individuals, oh, but um, <laughs> for me, yeah, it was really surreal playing out there. Um, I've been playing for like 18 years, and I knew that this is my probably my last uh, competitive match, and so I really just wanted to have no regrets and gave it absolutely everything I had. It worked out pretty well. <laughs> yeah, and I just think having each other. I mean, we've had it. We've really been next to each other you know, for four years straight, and we just always supported each other, and I think that, you know, we knew that with this team and each other that we could we could do this, and it feels really surreal to know, like, that really hard work did really pay off there. Yeah. Coach, I'll ask one final question of you. Um, <laughs> last question for you. Uh, I know it's early to look back on a season, look back on a team and a group of um, young women, but what does this team, what will you be thinking about when you look back on this team? They're just really fun to be around, you know. They're just, you know, they believe in themselves. They like each other. They play for each other. They're just really fun. They come out. They don't mind the work. Uh, you know, they try to get better. You know, I mean, obviously, you don't even really need to tell. When you get programs starts to reach a certain level, you don't even really need to talk about outcome goals out loud. Like, you can sort of say, oh, process, process. I mean, we knew, we know what the expectations are for this program now. Um, we felt we were good, but... You know, until someone knocked off Williams and Emery, like, you can't pretend that you are there until you do it. You know, they've been, other teams have sort of knocked on the door in the, in the past and just haven't been able to do it. I mean, I think they've played each other every year in the final since I've been here. 
So, you know, we, we believed in ourselves, we believed in our ability to get better, we had fun. But, you know, in the end we had to believe we got to the level we could beat them, but it's, it's one thing to, to believe it, and then it's a whole other thing to do it, and they just knew they had to be brave, and they had to grab it because it wasn't going to be given to them, and that's what they did. Fantastic. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Great season. My truck? <laughs>